So earlier this month, uh, the beginning of July, I was listening to Fresh Air with Terry Gross, and their music critic um, reviewed both directions at once. Okay, so this is a John Coltrane album. I love John Coltrane. He's just mind-blowing to me as a creative person and a, um, a musically-minded person. And um, the album, Both Directions at Once, is a studio album. It was recorded on the Impulse label, and it was recorded in 1963 when Coltrane had his dream lineup. Now, apparently the masters were lost for decades, and they were recently unearthed, and earlier this month or last month, the album, Both Directions at Once, uh, the album made from the studio recordings was released. Completely blown away, listened to it nonstop for days, still listening to it, gives me goosebumps. Um, if you, you should check it out. <laughs> it's unbelievable. And anyway, so I bought the album. I've been enjoying it. And I was looking around today for, um, some topics and I came across a John Coltrane quote. So he says, you can play a shoestring if you're sincere. And I was like, well, there it is. <laughs> This is such a, um, this is so right up my alley. Um, A, it's the thoughts of truly, truly a genius man, genius man. And also it's, it speaks to me, um, so directly because it, 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 um, my beliefs about creativity are in complete alignment with that statement. Many of you know I'm a YouTuber, which is really a, a stand-in for saying that I'm someone who is excited about ideas, excited about self-expression, wanting to create something interesting and of value for myself and for other people, love documentation, love video, um, and in my case, I also love music making. So um, the internet provides all these phenomenal platforms for people who like to make things or talk about their life or their thoughts or feelings or whatever. We have these platforms now where we can share our work. And I, for one, am completely stoked about this. Um, I know, you know, everybody listening is too. In any event, there's a huge discussion in the YouTube community and in other creator communities about um, how to begin, what to begin, which platform, what gear. The conclusion I've come to and the spirit that I embrace now in my making and sharing on YouTube and Facebook and um, other platforms is start with what you have and focus on the content. Tell your story, whatever it is, and whatever you've got to capture the telling of your story um, is going to be good enough because it's really about your story. It's just huge for me to look around and see that someone that I idolize is saying something that seems to, to fit in with that, that if you're sincere, if you're sincere. So, so then I was like, but what does he mean? What is sincerity to John Coltrane? You know, or what, what is sincerity? I mean, I know I have a, you know, I have my sense of what it is. So I went to Google and, um, here's the, the technical definition, free from pretense or deceit, Proceeding from genuine feeling or feelings and synonyms are heartfelt, wholehearted, profound, and deep. So f following up on this with um, another example I want to share with you. Years ago when I began to explore American roots music, the roots of American popular music, before things were formalized into country or blues or soul or R&B or rock and roll, the kind of 19th century swampy musical expressive mess that was immigrants and enslaved people and people from everywhere just being brought together, pushed together, living in proximity and bringing all of their traditions uh, and their melodies to their day-to-day -day lives. This is, a, this is a fascinating area, and uh, there's so much documentation and cool things online about it. One of them is Alan Lomax. He went through the, the Deep South and Appalachia in the 30s and recorded everyday people making music. And what's so cool about it is these people didn't necessarily see themselves as musicians, they were people making, uh, singing and expressing themselves with melody and harmony uh, because that was essential to, <laughs> to activate feeling, to activate joy, to activate hope, 
you know, to, to stay alive. It, it really, I think, Music played a, a very, very essential role in people's lives 100, 200 years ago. Uh, in any event, he, he uh, so John Lomax going through uh, Appalachia, he recorded this woman, and I'll put the link in, a, in the description, the name of the song. Anyway, this woman sings the song, and, uh, I, you know, I believe I've looked at the liner notes and, and don't really know her name or uh, much about her. The fact is... Uh, she sings with such raw emotion and just such, it's like a plaintive cry. She's telling a story and she does it with melody. It's just one voice and it is, it's the world. It's everything. She, my mind always explodes. What does she look like? Where did she live? What was going on? What was her life like? She tells such an amazing story, not only through the the narrative of, of the lyrics, but through her expressive, uh, singing. And here's the best part. Technically, her voice is horrible. Wow. This woman wins. She is like literally, she is one of the best singers I've, I've ever heard because she tells a tale and it's sincere. It's plain. It's simple. It's honest. It's profound. It's heartwarming and heartfelt. It's so heartfelt. Unbelievable. This was hugely instrumental. Uh, it, informative, helpful for me. Years ago when I had questions about, well, can I sing? I can't sing. My voice isn't good enough. It's not strong enough, blah, 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 blah. I listened to that a bunch of times and I just was like, all of that just flew out the window, like immediately irrelevant. What mattered was her sincerity, the sincerity of her expression. It makes it a masterpiece. And I think that that's what Coltrane was saying. Again, you can play a shoestring if you're sincere. Wow. And this, this is from a technical giant, a genius and a master. What he brought to the table in the 20th century is mind-blowing. And he says, you know, you don't need a bunch of fancy gear. You don't need the latest instrument. You don't need this. You don't need that. You need sincerity, which in my mind means you need heart. You need heart. Anyway, that is such a profoundly moving and important statement and belief for me. It's so exciting and powerful. And I see so much heart uh, in the places that I look. I see it in day-to-day life. I see it uh, in YouTube. And I see it in all the creative work that people share. Um, And I just wanted to share these ideas with you because they make me really happy. And they take so much... They've, there's, the pressure and stress of creating has been gone. It, it doesn't even exist for me. It's, I only feel stressed if I don't do it, but doing it is a joy because I know that if it's heartfelt, meaning is imbued within it, and that's important. Okay, well, these are just some thoughts, and um, I appreciate your time. I hope you're well.